On Thursday evening, police deported the MTN Uganda Chief Executive Officer, Win Van Herpoot, through Entebbe International Airport to his home country, Belgium. Police say his actions had jeopardized national security. The most probable reason uh, is related to undermining the security of our country. The activities they were involved in were activities of national concern uh, because we had been getting intelligence and, and this intelligence was uh, also confirmed in, in, the, in the reports that we were getting as we coordinated closely with the migration and other security agencies that we work with. However, Deputy Police Spokesperson Pauline Amaye was hesitant to divide details of the alleged crimes. And this investigation is continuing, so we may, I may not divulge as much information as you would like. Last year, police and the internal security organization ISO raided MTN data center in Mutunde Kampala in an operation they claimed was in connection with investigating breaches to national security. Namaya insists that deporting Van Hereput was done under the laws of Uganda. The due diligence has been done. Section 6 of the Uganda Citizenship and Immigration Control Act empowers the Internal Affairs Minister to authorize deportation. And I quote, the minister may, in writing signed by him or her, order any prohibited immigrant or person whose presence in Uganda is unlawful to be deported out of Uganda, either indefinitely or for such a period of time as may be specified in the order. However, Clause 7 of the Act stipulates that a person aggrieved by a deportation order made under this section may appeal against the order within 15 days after the date of the order to the High Court. And a person aggrieved by the decision of the High Court may appeal against it in the Court of Appeal. A Kampala State lawyer, Julius Garisonga, says police breached the laws. ...being that within 15 days from the signing of the court order, of that deportation order, a, person, a person's right under that act should not be taken away by immediate deportation. That person must be given at least 15 days within which he can fight or even try to demonstrate to court that uh, that order should not have been signed in the first place. Now, what we've seen is that a person is, a, a deportation order is signed in the evening and then in the morning the person is deported out of Uganda. I think that is illegal. According to Garisonga, the decision by the Internal Affairs Minister, General J. Jo Tong, to deport foreigners without following the law may have negatively affected foreign direct investment in the country. The situation is far-reaching. First of all, it's a, it poses a serious threat to foreigners living in Uganda. Uh, and there are so many. Remember, we are always struggling to encourage uh, foreign direct investment, foreign direct investment, you see, in Uganda. Now, if a foreigner is going to come to Uganda with this money, and the minister, by a stroke of a pen, without recourse to court, without chance to go to court, without chance to even argue your case, can sign your order to be deported, that is not good for us. This latest deportation comes about three weeks after police deported three senior MTN officials, Annie Birenge Tabura from Rwanda, Olivier Priantou from France, and Elisa Mussolini, an Italian national, also for security concerns.